reaffirm and value morality because odd is an evaluated term question, so we have more obligation to do only consequential is more calculus to determine moral outcomes. There are three reasons. First, only consequential is calculus to adequately represent rational agents by recognizing their fundamental equality. Kaminsky writes. By emphasizing solely who must bear the cost of you after we fail to specially respect and account for many other stuff persons we be the cost of our inaction morally good agent who recognizes the basis of all particular duties principle that rational nature exists in the end of itself ruined with what truly believes that all rational means have a quick equal value and all rational solutions of dilemma involves maximally throwing the lives of liberties and many rational means possible by sacrifice suffer the state of others and now use the and I not deny the unconditional value of sacred rational beings such may have dignity but others uh, but persons also have a fundamental equality that dictates that some of us give way to the uh, sake of others. The cost of the item itself is not support the view that we may or force another to make some cost in order to benefit others. Second, personal identity is not relevant to moral judgments. Shoemaker explains. Suppose that both my brain hemispheres are functional duplicates of each other, and that uh, my two, uh, uh, my two triple brothers have separate irreversible brain damage. If br a brilliant neurosurgeon can transplant both one of my brain hemispheres and each, each other, so each survival will stimulate these fully psychological continues with me about me waking up. What has happened to me is vision. Since I cannot survive, most of the identity relation does not obtain from me and the survivors. Oh, so the only uh, remaining option is that I do not survive vision, but this is like ordinary death. Clearly not. Both survivors will seem to remember my thoughts, my experiences, they will fulfill my intentions. If I had an action, they would be, have the same beliefs, like desires, goals as me, and their characters would be exactly like mine. Indeed, I, it would be as if I had survived. But what this means is that the the identity relation is not what matters. Instead, what matters has the psychological community or connectedness. But if identity doesn't matter for moral judgments, then only a moral system that evaluates the state of affairs makes sense. Carpet plays. The utilitarian view being supported by partial disintegration of persons. Utilitarians with each other benefits and burdens on as they came but, uh, within uh, the same life as they made more moral difference where they came with this belief being partly supported by the view that we have unity of life and has to difference between lives and its nature deep. This impersonality view is partly supported by the reductionist view about the nature of persons. Third, the act of mission distinction is a moral vision. Actions can only be evaluated based on the goodness or badness of their outcomes. Free warrant. A. Omission still entailed in intentionality with using to take an action to save a life will still mean that you're intended to death. The distinction is no longer morally exonerating the underframe without values intent. B. The activation just seems to require that a line be drawn in separate categories, but acts with the sign is impossible since they're always grading in different cases. For example, it is impossible to decide whether certain actions qualify as killing or letting die, such as refusing to take break, uh, refusing to break for pedestrians. Thus, actions can be categorized without consideration of their outcome. C. The activation distinction fails when evaluating government since uh, the government is uh, tasked with protecting citizens. Sunstein and both Bermuda will write. Any average distinction between act and mission does a wrong way of looking at the same features of government as a moral agent, unlike individual governments, are always necessarily have faced a choice between among uh, the weed or among possible policies of regulating third parties. Government is in the business of creating permissions and prohibitions, but explicitly and implicitly uh, authorizing private actions, not admitting. Thus, the standard is maximizing the expected well being. Contention one is the presumed consent maximizing the expected well being by increasing the number of transplantable organs, thus saving lives. Sub point A is that the opt in system fails, kill him further. The family of young persons respect their judgment of quality and psychological stress on families at the time of dying and loved ones looking for yeah. physicians and administrators making donations for present patients or dying teachers that circumstances commonly conspire to block the need to express consent with donations or organs of descent. And Kelly 14 brothers that in the United States, 110,000 and then 693 nations make up the waiting list of organs, yet fewer than 50,000 donors become available each year. This means that the current system is not working and there is a large gap between those who need organs and those who are registered donors. Part B is a presumed consent that suits for donation, thus increases donation rates. Dolling explains. The five best order procurement rates in developed countries are from those uh, countries with presumed consent rates. So, each year in 2007, with 34.4 million per population, pull up the consent was introduced in 1995 with the number of categorized donations increasing from 5 to 12 per million population. America had one of the highest uh, category or order procurement rates in Europe under presumed consent, which rates were cut in half in the introduction of a new express consent law in 1986. Belgium data from 1986 and the act of presumed consent legislation shows that areas for donation rates from different areas of the country with those areas that continue to uh, seek relative solutions despite new water main staff and most of the presumed consent uh, experienced a sharp increase. In that legislation was passed in the place that are not I oppose the new system between the old opt in system while the other parents are in Lebanon adopted the new legislation over a three year period rates of donation offered to remain constant while rates in Lebanon increased from 50 to 40 donors per year. The whole country more donation rose by 55% with five years despite a concurrent decrease in the number of organs available from traffic incidents. The implementation of the city that Belgium had an immediate beneficial uh, effect on the number of organs harvested and transplants performed by the key procurements alone increased by 86% by the year 1987, 1988, by 1989. The number of categories needing to be able to prepare some wealth and have increased by 119 compared with the previous and consent period. Other countries have presumed consent laws and seem to track the wages of the network and German laws still are increased. The decade after the implementation of presumed consent, Belgian organs and individual have risen to the amount of the wealth and support. Why not? Only 2% of the Belgian people had opted out. The Austrian number of joint per million rose from the average of 4.6 per million per, uh, population before the presumed consent was switched to the average of 27.2 per million population between 1986 and 1990. And presumed consent saves lives. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services establishes a need for organ security on its website. Six, that every 10 minutes, someone has put us to be 
dating list, the exact new based on the wait list, and the number of figure orders continue to grow down of August 29, 2014, over 134,733 patients that were on the wait list. Every day, seven of you receive some more orders. Directly. Either 18 people die because of the order shortage. That's why the rate of order rate increased the number of orders available for transportation to save the lives of many people with no other source and provide as many life giving orders as a decreased cadaver. Doll and two for each and every opportunity for your organs is important. Brain dead donors, infection donors, and kidneys, lungs, heart, liver, pancreas, and salt, and other tissues. Notice the price of an organ tissue should not be harvested for total tissue. Notice the price of as many organs. A single brain dead donor can save the lives of four people by donating to heart, lung, uh, heart, both lungs, kidneys, and, uh, uh, heart, both lungs, and liver. And improve the lives of five people by donating both kidneys, cornea, and pancreas, and benefit the lives of uh, many more people by donating both bone, skin, and tissue. On to another view. First. Cross examination plus our cut from these people running theory violations. Here's most asked about the rules directly and whether or not the infringement following it. If it not, the, uh, the negative must be specific test for violation of the CSS support to prevent the privilege to destroy both the various educational value throughout. Because we have been clear up three issues ahead of time and we know we can dispute the time of the debate further and the asking of the debate. Also, this makes sure that only the legitimate theoretical violation brought from rounds of this rule should be followed. And that's right. Like, if I read you the intern, are you going to say what, what are you being biased in person about intern? Or are you going to, like, am I just clarifying that you violate? Like, am I giving you a chance to say you don't violate? Or will you tell me whether you were abide by that in person? Uh, I think that you have to give me a chance to say I'm going to But it's not a complaint in person. Like, I mean, if I read you the intern, are you going to tell me whether you violate it or not? Or are you going to tell me whether you will operate under that intern? It depends on what the interest is, right? Like, if you ask me to just I'm just asking history. how the function of that under the argument works. Like, what am I doing when I ask the CX about the interest? So, uh, if you ask me in cross-examination just during interpretation, one, I can do it unit, or two, say that I'm going to buy it. Okay, fine. So, we'll do a compliant split system. Compliant split the interest. Debaters must require, must not require that theory violations are cut, uh, sorry, cut in CX. So, we comply to put that interest. The interp is debaters must not require that theory violations are touching the CX. Okay. 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 Next interp. Debaters must specify only to move games to create the CX. Alright. Next interp. The app may not garner offense in organs, the movies for say not functioning organs in other things. Okay. The interp is the app may not garner offense in organs to be used for place more functioning organs than other people. Alright, cool. And it's going to turn around. Alright, let's go to the AC. Why is there not being an active institution to be used for the same reason? It seems that the active institution is not active, right? Yeah, so what? Why does that mean you know? That means that if we take if we don't take action that's going to work. Why does that mean you know? That means that. Why does moral culpability mean you know? I think that not taking that action is just as bad as taking the action that is up to the Sure, but why is that? Just, we're still looking for the consequences of not taking action. But why can't we look for consequences of the consequences of the way that we're Why can't we look for the non-consequences of the way that we're going to do their end if they're not necessarily going to like it? Right. Uh, okay, so third justification so when you of the act of mission distinction, what it talks about, the value of government, right? Yeah, sure. So where do you justify the act of the right of government? Right, because you also talk about the U.S. specifically. And I only see the U.S. government mentioned in the act. The resolution talks about a just society. Yeah. That is the right. Okay, but so does the U.S. spec like, often not apply, or is that like, the only country that you It's not the only country that I can say. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, let's go over the value one. You said the increase in security is the first, right? What country is the security is the first? I said uh, specific countries Spain, Poland, Denmark, Belgium. Uh, there's a few that are in Belgium. Yeah, we're going to see that we can do it.
and let it increase up like I'm not doing it
pretty sure it was the other way around. Is that what we said? Okay. Let's go to the theory. Or sorry, let's go to the uh, head suit. So also, the round's being filmed if we want to yeah, yeah. play back. <laughs> okay. It was just me. Okay. Let's go to the uh, head suit. So, what does the air say? What does the what? The, the cards that you're reading. Okay. So, air one says that when we make moral statements like killing is bad, I don't actually mean like killing is bad, I mean boo killing because it's a reflective reflection of my motive state. Like I don't like the feeling or I don't like that statement. Like is a motive uh, like in order to be emotive, don't you have to have your personal identity to be emotive? It doesn't matter, right? So my argument is just that even if like you have to have this personal identity, the way that that personal identity constructs statements of um, moral morality is not going to be consistent with a truth or false falsality analyzable concept. Okay, do you have a standard? I mean, this, no. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go That's to not the, like the way it functions. Sure. Let's go to the theory. Okay. So, what is the intro? Um, we do the exact text. So, the exact text was debaters must specify only kidneys being procured through presumed consent. Okay. The, what was the first standard? The first standard was the topic literature? Depth of education. Depth of education. That argument says that because kidneys are the most common organ procured, the research is going to be better because we've done a lot more transplants on them. And uh, so that's the death argument. And the breath argument is because there have been more transplants, there's also going to be more research, like better research and more research. Okay, let's go to the let's see. Actually, let's go to the counterpoint. Why is it competitive? Net benefits. Okay, so it's only competitive to net benefits. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the AC. Uh, so the first argument that make, you make against util is the Boston trail, right? It's not an argument against util so much as well. It's like I explained how I uh, how it functions around. It is a permissibility argument. It does not function a priori. It's a turn under your framework that operates as on a higher level. Than so why is everything permissible with util? What's the warrant? So, and I'll read you from the top of the case. It says, or from the top of the thing, it says util means everything is morally permissible. You say that we need to prove an ought statement, and ought is a moral obligation. Their own, your own framework that means that we would negate. But my, my question is, why is everything in util permissible? What's the justice oh. or the warrant for that? So, sure, so that's the Bostrom analysis. Are you talking about? So that's the Bostrom analysis that says, the first one that says that the universe is infinite. That means that we can never actually weigh in your util because everything is infinitely good and infinitely bad. Uh, the second argument is the Pascalian paralysis argument that says that there are an infinite number of consequences our actions can have, and there's no way of knowing the impact and impact of our actions. So since there are infinitely unforeseen consequences that have any impact, uh, everything is more like because it's infinite.
Theory, half hand, <coughs> ACM or MCAC. So you're going to be a counter interpreter as a bonus yeah. for page? Yeah, counter interpreter. Theory, counter plan, MCAC? Debaters on the uh, debaters can defend procurement of all organs under or, or under presumed consent. Uh, B. I mean, C. Standards versus topic. The topic literature refers to every single organ being translated. You can uh, refer specifically to the A. C. That talks specifically about uh, that talks about multiple organs being uh, procu uh, multiple organs being procured. This is the, the dulling evidence to talk about how there's 27 organs and tissues that can be taken out of people that like such as kidneys, lungs, heart, liver, pancreas, and small bowel and other tissue components. This means that uh, the topic literature is not only grounded in kidneys but other organs as well. There, therefore, that she can't only have one disad two kidneys. She can have multiple disads or multiple disad ground to other organs, not just kidneys themselves. But the topic literature, uh, but we can also talk about breath as being, uh, breath is always going to be better than depth. You can turn, uh, so, uh, breath is always going to be better than depth because we're going to be covering more organs and therefore saving more lives and, and talking about more, uh, implementation policies rather than just for one organ specifically. Uh, so breath is always going to be better than depth because we're going to be covering more regions and we're going to talk about more things, which is always going to be better for education because we're always going to be, uh, having more knowledge on multiple different topics. So this is best for education and fairness because first, edu uh, because first it's grounded in the topic literature, so, uh, it comes first in education. The two, uh, for fairness, it's always, uh, it's equal to both sides because we can both spend every single, uh, we can both spend uh, all organs, not just one specific organ, therefore uh, we have bo uh, we both have the same amount of ground. So let's go to the count plan. First, there's no reason why the count plan is mutually exclusive. You can try to do both at the same time. You take the organs from presumed consent for the people that uh, like that haven't said yes or no presumed consent, take it and put it into the, to the legal market so you can always have uh, the legal market through presumed consent. There's no reason why the two are mutually exclusive. You can uh, take organs from the people who don't want them and put them into the black market so it can uh, garner all the impacts of the counter tax. But two, uh, even if we argue that the market system is better, uh, it needs, it's going to need uh, time to be implemented. So we do the app, then we do the counter plan. So uh, until we uh, implement a specific legal market system, we're always going to have presumed consent until that system has been implemented. So, uh, uh, let's go to the MC. <coughs> the air evidence is grounded on uh, how we feel about doing certain things, but I'm saying emotions are, uh, I'm saying emotions are how we feel about certain things, but good and bad come from uh, what those actions actually represent. When we do something, we don't just say, oh my god, that makes me feel better, but then we look at, oh, uh, sorry, we don't just say, oh my god, uh, this is my emotion that comes from this action. We say, oh my god, look at what good comes from this action. We look at the consequences of that action because that's when we determine what morally good and morally, what morally bad actions are because uh, that's the way that, uh, like, our, uh, our uh, personality, our, our mind works. But let's go to the uh, AC. She talks about how Util says that everything is permissible, but I'm giving you specific reasons as to why it's obligatory, especially for governments when they make uh, specific actions. Crossed by Sunstein and Vermeule that talk about how it's a government policy. The way the government seeks to make decisions is not uh, regarding every person as individuals, but uh, regarding uh, everything as a whole. Which, uh, one, uh, the argument that she makes about how the universe is uh, infinite, uh, one, it's not talking about infinite consequences. It's talking about how we weigh between those infinite consequences, or uh, weigh between the consequences that we know are going to ha happen. So, uh, for example, if I take a certain action, I know that the con I know the consequences of that action are going to be either a good or bad, and we compare between the two actions that happen because of that. Uh, but two, there's not always going to be infinite consequences because we know uh, consequences based on what history ha has already reoccurred. So we know uh, what things are actually going to happen. But let's go to the uh, contentional analysis. Extend the first dolling evidence that talks about how presumed consent is going to increase donation rates. Uh, so this is a very comparative analysis of what's going to happen because uh, it, it gives you a specific countries in, uh, in the same geographical area controls for mortality rates, and, and it gives you multiple different places in the same areas that uh, like that adopted the new presumed consent law and did not adopt it. And it's just that every time presumed consent is going to uh, increase. But also, if you're going to look specifically to kidneys, it talks about how kidney recruitment alone increased 86 percent, and that's. Uh, 119 uh, percent in comparison with the previous new consent period. So the dolly evidence is a very good analysis. So you're going to be voting uh, first off of the fact that uh, 
So you're going to be voting first off the fact that we can uh, have the count line because there's no reason why it's mutually exclusive, so we can do it at the same time, but uh, the ACS solves. Alright, uh, so, uh, so we're The order is going to be um, theory, NC, or overview, theory, NC, counterplan, uh, math. Overview, theory, NC, counterplan, Except the fact that she can see the cross-examination that we don't do this, or she can't abide by the system in which transplantation is after round. Uh, that was, uh, you can see it specific. Or the specific in terms of that she cannot uh, gain uh, garner offense from hand expectation. She can see the missile comments and which means she functionally has no offense in the round, so at the very least you can vote for me on presumption because that would trigger a similar to the NC or presumption. She literally has no offense in the round. Now let's go to the theory. You can use an alien interpretation of management specify only can be being produced for uh, presumed organs and the definitional support is that WMD and the spines are rise of kidney transplants are the most common type of transplant surgery. Uh, an organ for matching using blood uh, type and signs of kidneys meet the requirements the most. The problem with her counter term is that she's not actually comparing the, the amount of kidney transplants that are the most done. So let's extend some offense. You can extend these elevation from just the organ procurement to clarify that it's cross examination. You can extend C standard one depth of education since kidneys are most common ground organ procured. They have the most research and transplants done that make it better quality ground with specifying kidneys since we go more into depth for depth of breath since Unless we talk about specific argument in contrast to gender, we would not be able to garner real world education. Death is the internal link to education, it is the most valid form and gives us the best knowledge. This is going to be very problematic for her because she tries, um, Sorry, she tries to put uh, trust to cross my dowling saying that it talks about mortal, multiple organs being procured, but the missing warrant in dowling, dowling needs to be comparing the amount of <coughs> organs procured. The pro, uh, so WMD is always going to become prerequisite to the dowling argument because dowling, uh, da, uh, da, yeah, WebMD actually talks about the number of kidney organs being transplanted and says that it's the most. Dowling needs to be giving the warrant just why most organs are equal across the playing field in terms of transplantation numbers. That argument's not there. She says the breadth is better than death, but I already uh, and, uh, and analyzed that in the way in the depth of education. Now you can extend to predictability by specifying kidneys, which is the most important organ procured. You're having the most predictable arguments because it has the most literature on it. And has literally done the most for WebMD. Granted, at least Carrie Peterson's order for how my pre-round might be able to go back to some reason. I will ideal with their way to run a three ground. You can simply specify the most common organ procured. Yeah, the most ground means has the most topical and under respect organ procurement in general. You would take away my kidney just that she does not also speak to this. So, and so far, the only argument she's having about dialing and how multiple organs are being procured. I already talked about how my WebMD uh, evidence is going. Also, I have two, at least two <coughs> uh, standards you're always going to for strength of length and size of the size of the main parts. You can extend the drop the debate argument. You drop the debater because the abuse is already happening around the uh, future. You're trying to create norms for debate and deter future versus you can extend the, uh, the voter of education fairness fairness because debate is gained and that's why we play in education because that's the reason schools on debate and uh, she doesn't read our base so I'm going to the next speech let's go to air the problem with the arguments against air is that they're really really shitty so let's extend that offense you can extend 
you it's in a reason we've closed that case and statements are both false and true, putting any part of claim untrue, questioning something under the entire statement true. She doesn't contest this now. You can extend uh, that all implies a moral obligation, and since moral statements are expressed in our motive statements, describing our feelings towards a particular issue, that's the error one card. The only argument she makes against us is that emotions are how we feel about things, and they're explicitly different from uh, statements or uh, normal statements. But beyond what error explicitly speaks to, the warrant and error talking about how when we make these statements, uh, they're relative only to our emotions. So this is really problematic for her because it's not about uh, how emotions function, but rather how these statements function. In the grounds, you can also extend error to the talks about how ethical judgments are only reflective of our emotional feelings. For example, if I say killing is bad, I'm only saying boo killing. This means that morality escapes new notions of truth and false values and unanalyzable concepts. She's not doing enough work here. I have 100 percent strength like in the error arguments who says that there's literally no way that we can make statements of true false value, which means the resolutions proof false is company for the NC because it literally attacks any assumption that the resolution makes about ethics. So go on to the counterplay. Um. Except the counterclaim place that the government wants to this market system instead of presuming consent system. She said that there's no reason why or why she can't permit however it is because it's competitive to net benefits. If I literally just say that I do it better, that's how it functions. I explain that in cross examination. You can send the counterclaim one who says that under a market system, organ suppliers will be offered a market uh, uh, price and organs like that. And you can send the organ market's better than presumed consent. Counterclaim two, that's the evidence talks about how when we do an economic analysis, it actually shows that it's actually going to be better under system economics. That's counterclaim three, evidence talks about how organ markets decrease the price of organs. This is really damning because even under her system framework, I've been uh, decreasing the price of organs, which increases access to organs under her framework. More people can buy it. It also helps the uh, marginalized people. Increase in cash from four who says the working market help regulate the black market, so it's actually still going to be better for increasing donation rates. So that's only going up. Uh and she makes this argument about how the, uh, the time implementation, however, at the very least, she'll have that time implementation, too, in, in countries where there's not presumed consent, so that argument doesn't make any sense. We can pick a system. Um, go to the app. Specifically on the overview. Her dropping a lot of the internal warrants, uh, she, uh, she completely misses what the uh, argument is on the utility means everything is permissible. So you can extend that utility means everything is morally permissible since the affirmative says we need to prove an awesome and awesome moral obligation in our framework means we would negate. I said that these function as not in our operation or framework chaos, they're turned on their framework to operate on a higher level. She doesn't contest how these things work. So if I win one of these arguments, they're sufficient under her framework as a reason to vote for me. So you can extend that the, the first argument, the Boston argument, how the universe is infinite, but since we can only do a finite good or bad, it does nothing to change the infinite quantity, making all actions morally equal. The problem with her response, she says, uh, I'm not, she's the, the that we can weigh the consequences. This argument isn't about the consequences themselves, but it's rather the good and bad and how it exists as infinite. She goes, we can still weigh that, but you can't weigh infinity. That doesn't make any sense. You can also extend Pascaline paralysis about how there are an infinite number of consequences to our actions. She says that uh, you can weigh things, but my argument is that literally that there are an infinite number of uh, actions because the way that Utah works is through a chain of events. Since chain of events are never ending, that's the internal warrant, then there's always going to be, uh, it's always going to be permissible. Now let's go on to uh, the Dowling part. You can extend the defense that the first argument is its impact without causation. There's absolutely no internal warrant as to why the presumed consent are actually increasing donation rates. Uh, so you always prefer my evidence because I actually talked about how it's cleaning up the organ margin. And so far as I'm doing that, I'm giving you the internal warrant that it's small, more financially stable, and so on. That's true. Now, my evidence is always going to uh, come before dowing. So as an overview, you can vote very easily on the fact that she has no offense because she can see it in cross-examination. She never contests us. Don't let her stand up in her next speech and make new arguments. She let it, sl- she let it fly in the 1AR. And so that gives her an option to look to presumption. Even if you don't want to look at presumption, you can look to a system, or you can look to the theory. I'm clearly ahead on the theory debate. I'm the only one who's reading a voter. I have conceded standards on the theory shell. Or you can look to the counterplan, which I'm still winning, or the NC, or uh, the AC. Uh, you told me everything is permissible. I have 130 prep points. Mm-hmm.
So you're always going to be looking to breath, and that's the internal interference because, uh, sorry, internal education because that is the reason why uh, schools fund debate. But go to uh, the count plan. There is literally no reason why the two are mutually exclusive or why they can't be done uh, at the same time. You can take the organs from presumed consent and put them in the black market. There's absolutely no reason as to why you can't do them at the same time just because uh, it's better to, uh, sorry, uh, so there's no reason why you can't do them both at the same time. I can garner all the offense the, the counter plan. So uh, extend the first plan and you can do both the app and the counter plan at the same time because you can take the organs from people who haven't, uh, who haven't explicitly said no and take them and then put them, in the le- uh, put them into the uh, legalized market system where people can buy and sell these organs. Those are two completely different concepts. One is where you actually take the organs, and the other one is what you do with the organs once you get them. So I'm saying that, that when we take these organs, we do it under a presumed consent system, not an opt-in system, which is uh, what she's uh, like. Uh, there's no differentiation between an opt-in system and an opt-out system when it comes to talking about legalized uh, uh, legalized counterplans. Therefore, we can do them both at the same time. But also, too, you can extend the second part that talks about how she's going to have to uh, overcome multiple obstacles to do this. So you can do harm to the app and then do the counterplan uh, uh, because it's going to uh, like she's going to take it's going to take a lot of time for her to implement. The system. So uh, let's go to the AC. Extend the first stalling evidence on the potential level analysis, not specifically about why this is done because of causation. Dalling is very, very specific about this because she did multiple different tests in multiple different uh, areas of the same geographical region, so it's proven, and it, and it also went through a T test in the regression system, uh, which is specifically in the card that talks about how it's specifically causation, not uh, a correlation. Therefore, the Dalling evidence still talks about how, uh, even though uh, uh, there is a uh, through presumed consent system. You're always going to be increasing donation rates. First place, uh, first place that you're going to be uh, voting is uh, like. Don't refer her on the theory debate because I'm clearly outweighing on the depth versus breath education as well as the standard ground and topic literature. Therefore, I'm the only one with an internal linked education. But uh, then vote on the harm to the counterplan because I want all the next impacts. 